Greatness will cost you something. It's going to cost you some time. It's going to cost you some energy. It's going to cost you some sacrifice. It's going to cost you some resources. It's going to cost you some hours of your life laying down, paying the price, going the extra mile, doing what other people are not willing to do. Greatness is not cheap. Greatness always costs more. That's why there's not many people who achieve greatness. They're not willing to pay the price. You know who's going to bail me out? You know who's going to come and rescue me? You know who's going to come and save the day? No one. I don't have backup. Nobody's coming. Nobody's coming to tell me to turn the TV off. Nobody's coming to get me out the door and exercise. Nobody's coming to write the business plan for me. I got to do it all myself. And many of you are not where you're supposed to be. Not because you're not gifted, not because you're not talented. You have absolutely no discipline. You keep cutting yourself slack. You keep telling yourself you did enough. You keep letting yourself off the hook. It's time you punish you. From now on, you're not going to hold any other human more accountable than you hold yourself. It's high time that discipline became your best friend, your daily companion. It's time to face yourself. You're the only one tripping you up. Look in the mirror and tell yourself, no more messing around. You gotta get real doggish. You gotta get real dirty if you wanna make it. It's these moments where you're tested by life, these decisions we make on a daily basis. Do we get up early and go for a run? Or do we hit the snooze button? Do we go that extra rep in the gym when our body's dying and we push past that? Or do we throw in the towel and give in to the pain? Those inches you need to be number one are around us every single day. It's when you get up that day and do those little tiny things, the little details in life. That's what adds up to be the difference between the champion and average. You think I don't get tired? Of course I do. But I've got reasons bigger than my fatigue. I'm out here setting the pace, making sure every day counts. Cause I'm doing it for my family. I'm doing it for my wife. I'm doing it for my kids. This is my zone and I'ma kill it. Ain't nothing gonna stand in my way. I'll work every day if I have to, whatever it takes. I need you to think about the people you're doing this for. And when that alarm goes off in the morning, you need the thought of those people you're grinding for to be louder than that alarm clock. So when it goes off and you're just not feeling it, you got to think, do I hit the snooze button or do I get up and grind for those people? You have got to push yourself. Your family's counting on you. Your dreams are counting on you. Everything you've ever wanted is counting on you. So all those days you don't feel like getting up, just think about them. You don't get to success by quitting when you're tired. You get there by quitting when you're finished, when you're done. You don't stop when you're tired, you stop when you're done. Dreams ain't easy. If they were, everyone would have everything they ever wanted. Waking up with zero energy won't cut it. You can't outsmart the grind. Some days you just gotta have the grit and the hustle to get your ass up and get to work. You don't make millions just cause you're talented or skilled. You make millions cause you execute. You've been taking your sweet ass time and that has gotta stop. You can't afford to move at a snail's pace in a world that's racing by. You're not a bad person for it, but you'll remain in the middle of the pack if you can't pick up the pace. It's time to kick it into high gear. You dedicate yourself to the daily grind, even when the high of motivation wears off. Success is always full price every single time. There are no discounts, no markdowns. It's going to cost you sweat, blood, and tears. So quit looking for the easy way out. There isn't one. Discipline is about doing what you hate, doing the sh that makes you uncomfortable, that pisses you off. But you grit your teeth and get it done like it's your fucking passion. It's about embracing the suck, lacing up those boots when you'd rather be kicking them off. It's dragging your ass out of bed when the blankets feel like a cozy cocoon of comfort, but you rise up anyway because there's work to be done. That feeling of dread, that resistance, it's a sign that you're on the right track. 
because real growth doesn't happen in the comfort zone. It happens in the trenches, in the grind, where every move is a battle. It's easy to do what you love. It's a whole other ball game to do what you hate with the intensity and drive as if you love it. That's the essence of true f***ing discipline. It's not about mood or feelings. It's about commitment. It's about saying, f*** my feelings. I've got a mission and I'm not leaving until it's done. You won't always stay motivated. There's going to be times where you're dragging ass and all you want to do is collapse and go eat like crap. You have to learn to get yourself up and moving when it's the last thing in the world you want to be doing. See, that's what separates people. It's the difference between the dreamers and the doers, between the people who talk a good game and those who play to dominate. Regret weighs tons, but discipline weighs ounces. It's much easier to look back on a life full of discipline, knowing you made the right choice in the moment, rather than looking back on a life full of excuses, full of regret. Regret that you didn't pay the price for greatness. Discipline doesn't give a flying fuck about what you feel like doing. It's the relentless, unwavering force that keeps you moving forward when everything else screams for you to stop. It's doing the work, the hard, gritty, soul-testing work. And not just enduring it, but owning it like a f***ing boss. You make it happen. You get it done. Because that's who you are. A person of action, a person of your word. You stay true to what you said you'd do, not for glory, not for applause, but because that is the standard you hold yourself to. Long after the mood has left, you're still there, grinding, pushing, striving, because that's what it takes. That's integrity, that's honor, that's real power. And you have that power within you. Your brain is the most powerful weapon in the world. Your brain is the only thing you have when you're going through depression, when you're going through hard times, you're going through death. Real life sh you're alone. There's 24 hours in a day where you're alone in this brain and your brain is talking to you in all kinds of ways and it wants to control you and pull you in these different pockets. If you can't control your own brain and your brain controls you, you're f***ed. You gotta tell your brain where you wanna go and how you wanna go and how you wanna get there. You gotta control it. If not, it's over. Where are the warriors that say, I'm gonna make a decision and I'm keeping it. And regardless of how you feel about it, it doesn't matter if the world is crumbling or down around you. It doesn't matter what's happening. Just do the thing every single day, whether you feel like it or not. Oh, I don't feel so good today. Get your lazy, sick ass up out of bed. Your only commitment is to the activity, not to the grand scheme, not to the big picture, not to the implications of what it is that you're doing. It's to do the thing. Habits are the building blocks of our lives. It's what you can do every single day that matters more than anything. Devote yourself to something bigger. Be decisive about what you're gonna do. Say, I'm gonna do it and that's it. And then be disciplined about getting it done every single day whether you feel like it or not. Greatness will cost you something. It's gonna cost you some time. It's gonna cost you some energy. It's gonna cost you some sacrifice. It's gonna cost you some resources. It's gonna cost you some hours of your life laying down, paying the price, going the extra mile, doing what other people are not willing to do. Greatness is not cheap. Greatness always costs more. That's why there's not many people who achieve greatness. They're not willing to pay the price. That's the kind of attitude you need. That's the attitude of a winner, is I will do whatever it takes. Don't be a wimpy person who's afraid of everything hard. Do not take the easy way out. You need to train that instinct, your instinct. Train it to say, get up, go, fight on. Get your brain in shape. Put your brain through the paces. Rid your fat ass brain of fear, doubt, self-loathing, intimidation, get rid of it. Don't you let another motherfucker 
put his or her limitations on you. Nobody can tell you what the fuck you can't do, but you. If at the end of the day, you want to achieve something that other people have not been able to achieve, you've got to be willing to do things that other people are not willing to do. Where other people bend and break, you've got to get stronger. Where other people fall by the wayside, you've got to keep going. You've got to set the bar ridiculously high and then surpass all expectations. We all want to be a beast, but do you know what a beast is? A beast is someone who can go through hell and be grateful that their legs are working. A beast is someone who's lost everything, but is grateful for the opportunity to get everything back and get even more. A beast is someone who can hit rock bottom and can say, Roger that. I'm gonna harness this sh It is only up from here. I'm gonna come back even stronger.